Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 6 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series. So today we're going to use uh, text frames inside of InDesign. So the easiest way to make uh, text frames is to grab the text tool right here. So you can see that there's type on path as well. We're going to talk about that in future lessons. So just select the type tool and click and drag the text tool right here. And that is how you can create a text frame. You cannot type in any uh, words inside of InDesign unlike Photoshop and Illustrator without text frame. So you need to have this little box over here. So another way is to create text frame is to use this rectangular frame tool right here. So just drag it out and if you were to go inside, you can see that there's elliptical text tool uh, frame right here and you even got polygonal text tool right here. You even have shapes just like this. So you have a lot of shapes right here. So polygonal shape right here. Uh, InDesign does not care. It just lets you use all of these. So you can just type it and you can see that I got the text tool right here. And if we were to go over here, we got the circular text tool. Uh, which, can, which can be used for images as well. So if I were to click over here, you can see that now this uh, actually works as the text frame for as this. If you were to click on the shape, you can see that I can type in the shape uh, itself as well. So it is not necessary that I take the frame tool itself. So I just go over here and you can see that I can just type it and that is how you can create the text tool inside. And another way to uh, import text is to actually place a TXT file uh, inside InDesign itself. So let us see how that works out. So for that, what I'm so for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a text right here. So for that, I'm going to go into File and then go into Place uh, right here, and then in the desktop, I'm going to select my TXT document over here and press Open. And once I do that, you can see the text. So in order to uh, create a text file, so I can just click on the frame right here and you can see that it actually places the text onto that frame right here. Let me press Ctrl Z. And then over here, if you were to click and drag, you can see that uh, it creates a text frame according to what I want. And if you were to just click on here, then it actually creates a text frame automatically over here. Uh, um, uh, over here by, uh, and then it lets you control the text frame. So that is how you can uh, utilize text frame inside of InDesign and remember you need a text frame and we're going to uh, cover up more on text frames and for the lessons right here. So that is how you can use text frames inside of Adobe InDesign. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.